Okay, welcome to this video guys. Let's look at this important concept. This is 2024 and as a beginner you begin to ask, we should I learn Python or JavaScript? So we are going to be considering this based on all of this outline. Vast application, learning curve, popularity, syntax, market to career path and personal preference. So if you are just getting started the coding and you want to know what is Python, by the way, Python is a general purpose reliability and easy to understand sectors based language right and again javascript <laughs> javascript basically is the language of the web it's used for both front-end and back-end development mobile and web development and basically uh, it has uh, its origin it's it's web-based one now let's consider them vast application Basically, for Python, it is applied in the field of AI, data science, machine learning, web development, deep learning, and again, you can use it for server-side development um, using the, basically framework and libraries such as uh, popular, such as Django, Flux, Tinker, and NumPy in terms of AI and machine learning. You can use Pandas and Matplotlib. Again, you Talk about JavaScript. JavaScript is a dynamic typing, object-oriented nature, and it's a powerful language for iterative web as well as mobile application development. You have uh, good frameworks, good JavaScript frameworks such as React, Angular, Vue, and you have the popular Node.js, which is you can now use for server-side development. You know, vis-a-vis, -vis, like we made the comparison between that and uh, Python. So uh, now let's talk about learning curve, which is easier to learn. Basically, talking about Python, uh, Python is a beginner-friendly language due to its easy and readable syntax. Okay, easy to read syntax. Okay, so but. Uh, JavaScript not hard but it is not too beginner friendly so if you just need a language that is a little uh, bit based on its syntax and ability to understand you want to pick Python right so talking about uh, syntax uh, for Python I believe you can see this is just more like easy to read uh, language it has its index is based on pseudocode okay uh by pseudocode more like writing code in english more like in uh, a not too complicated nature but if you want to consider um javascript you can see that for javascript it uses curly braces for block structure semicolon to terminate statement and it has dynamic typing so basically you want to consider this as a beginner which one we uh, resonate with you uh, based on the syntax that we have just outlined so now let's talk about the next feature popularity popularity which is more popular i'll be very objective here in my assessment based on a uh, report from Stack Overflow, it's based on popularity. I think uh, if you look at this, you could um, see that here for JavaScript, it has 2024 is 62% higher, and you can see Python here is 51%. Uh, but if you you can you could see that okay, Python is uh, have a lot of potentials, a lot of potentials in the coming years why because in those years you can see that people are now more keeping with the boost of ai ai everywhere so people are not talking more about ai so python is um the key language in terms of when you talk about uh, ai so basically so uh now we are going to consider the next which is market career and path if you come to indeed a uh, man from nigeria if you maybe search on indeed in your country you could uh, type maybe web development rules or full stack development development rules and you could compare which one comes up and uh, basically you could see different rules for different languages maybe node.js developer uh, full stack development uh, 
Django development so you could from there you know know okay which one is more popular in your area it can vary from country to country from um, cities to cities okay uh, basically for Python you have jobs in AI data science machine learning as well as deep learning for whereas for JavaScript you want to consider full stack web development as well as front-end rules then let's look at lastly personal preference personal preference so again uh, this is a little of subjective because you may want to oh i don't i've not tried both so how do i know which one was for me basically if you uh maybe begin to code in python or javascript you may want to consider which one resonate with you first or more because generally these two languages are powerful they are great languages and again what could influence your decision could be the company you are working with uh, maybe they want to work they work with python so you may have to learn python because um, your company work with python or they work more with javascript so you may want to learn javascript so i believe this helps uh, thank you for listening i'm going to see you in the next video